beautiful Taurus peeps. What's going on guys? It's your boy Africansa Moon's Tarot and I'm coming at you with your October 2021 tarot reading. As always, readings here are general. So if they resonate, that's awesome. And if not, it's not your message. And if you guys want to check out my official social medias, that'll be linked down in the description below. So welcome on in Taurus. I hope everybody's doing great. And uh, let's have a look here at October, okay? Starting off with the current energies for your month of October. Let's see what we got going on. We had a flipper come out. We do have a Queen of Cups. Uh, for some of you, you might be connecting with a cancer, possibly a cancer female for a few of you. Uh, but let's have a look here, all right? So what's going on? What's the current energies here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout their October 2021? Let's have a look. We got here a Seven of Cups. We got here the Star card, and we got here the Knight of Swords. You could be connecting with an Aquarius because we have here the Star card. So Seven of Cups, Star card, Knight of Swords. All of a sudden, as you're moving through the motions of life, you are going to strike alignment. So I feel here for you, the Seven of Cups is kind of representing like, I've just been going with the flow, taking opportunities as they come by, taking kind of whatever comes my way, and then all of a sudden, I end up getting aligned to somewhere. And with that being said, the place that I'm aligned to is a place where I'm pretty determined to stay. So Taurus, I think you're finding home, you're finding your four of wands, you're finding something that's comfortable, something that is really in resonance with you stepping into October. Whether that's you finding a really, really great talent of yours and therefore deciding to explore that talent, maybe you figured out that you're really, really good at, um, you know, singing or you're really good at like, you know, playing the guitar or really good at computer coding. It's like this energy of like, I'm ready to make a career out of some sort of talent I've recently explored. Therefore, it fell in residence with me heavy. Uh, some of you guys may have found tarot. Tarot may have found uh, you, actually, and that started to become in heavy resonance with you, and therefore you're like, hmm, I want to actually start my tarot career, you know? That could be very likely what's going on here for some of you in October 2021. Uh, you could have found a partner, too, right? So, general read. Take it how it resonates. Whatever kind of found you, Taurus, throughout the flow state you've been in is what you are in high resonance with this month. Great, I like that. So take it how it resonates. Remember they're general. So if it applies to you in a different way than I'm explaining it, but it makes sense, the story genuinely applies just in a little bit of a different way, it's still your story. So let's clarify this star card. What is it here that is jumping right into alignment with my Taurus throughout their October 2021? And what do we got? We got here the three of pentacles. It's something that just works for you. I think a lot of you guys are figuring out something that just works for you, okay? That's really, really good, actually. Um, it could be that you're finding a new routine that works for you. Uh, for some of you, you might have been trying very hard to find the perfect diet or to find the perfect workout routine, and then I don't know where something really clicks for you that works for you well. Interesting. Okay. So take that message, how that resonates as well. And let's clarify the Knight of Swords. Why do we got the Knight of Swords here? What's going on with that Knight? Why is Taurus feeling like whatever it is they're involved in right now is what's right for them? So clarifying the Knight of Swords, we got here the Two of Wands. Because the path that I'm on is so much better than the path that I left behind. So Taurus, whatever is happening in October for you, I feel like you're coming into something heavily in heavy resonance with something. You're really enjoying whatever it is. It just works for you. You're out of the flow state. You found exactly where you needed to be. Beautiful. Let's take a look and see what's coming in for Taurus throughout their October. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout October 2021. What's going to be coming in for the Bull Gang here? And what do we have? We actually had two cards jump out. One is going to be the Judgment card, and then the next card is going to be the Queen of Wands. So a new cycle begins for you. A new cycle that has you highly motivated, that has you feeling highly confident. All right? We also have here the Five of Cups, or sorry, not the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and then we have here the Eight of Swords. Yeah, for some reason, I'm feeling like the nightmares in your life are over, the negativity's over, the overthinking's over, because the Five of Pentacles means that something here is like left out so what you're leaving out Taurus is you're leaving out the nine of swords and you're leaving out the eight of swords so Taurus there's no negative thoughts about whatever you're you're hopping into resonance with in October there's no negative feeling there's nothing bad about it everything feels solid everything feels great for you it's actually removed a lot of negative shit from your life so whatever you're stepping into alignment with is not only incredibly emotionally fulfilling and making you happy it's actually pushing away the bad vibes so 
For a few of you, you might have found a really awesome person. And with that being said, you may no longer be on uh, focused on your past and maybe you feel like the negativity of the past is gone and you're happy to be with this new person. For another number of you, maybe you finally left your shitty corporate job and you found something you really resonate with and you're now working for yourself. Because remember that Three of Pentacles, the message I got was it just works for you? Maybe you're starting to have things work for you instead of you working for things, aka you may be your own boss stepping into October here. You may have individuals working for you or you may be working for yourself and therefore that's a very gratifying and awesome feeling. So I feel like what's coming in for you in October is this brand new cycle of enjoyment, this brand new cycle of confidence. You feel refreshed, you feel radiant guys is what I'm seeing, okay? What else is coming in for Taurus? We got here the King of Cups, the Sun card, and the Empress. A crap load of growth, a crap load of happiness, and a lot of emotional stability. So guys, your month is looking fucking fantastic. I'm going to tell you that right now, okay? You got here the Sun card, the King of Cups, and the Empress card. Things are growing in a direction you didn't expect them to grow in. You're starting to see things take off right behind, right before your eyes. You're genuinely seeing everything you've wanted to manifest come into your reality. So there's a lot of growth here. There's a lot of emotional stability here. You feel like you're finally in the right place. You're no longer going with the flow. You're no longer wandering through life. Everything just aligned for you. You're in the right place. Beautiful. So for a few of you, you might feel like you're finally at home with a relationship and with a partner. For others of you, you may feel like you're finally at home within yourself. You found the perfect job. You found the perfect career path to start for yourself. You found the perfect regimen that just makes you happy and healthy. Whatever it is, guys, you just, you feel aligned to the good life. <laughs> you know, it's really fucking awesome. Um, is there any sort of dire or important messages that Taurus needs to know stepping into October 2021? Anything that they need to hear? Anything they need to pop? possibly avoid. Let's go ahead and bang that out real quick. Is there any dire or important messages that Taurus needs to know? We got here the King of Pentacles. We got here the Chariot. We got here the Seven of Swords. And we have here the Six of Swords. Just know that this energy that you're setting foot into in October is not too good to be true. Okay? Immediately I picked up on self-deception with the Seven of Wands. And of course with the Chariot here, it's this energy of wondering if all this good shit that you're in alignment with right now, Taurus, is it going to be taken away from me? You know, am I going to be granted my dream life over here and then suddenly it's just going to disappear? Do not let yourself get wrapped into self-deception. Do not get wrapped into, is it too good to be true? Because let me tell you, it's true that it's good. It's not too true to be good. It's good. It's true. It's real. It's in front of you. So guys, when we're stuck in that energy of it's too good to be true, what we're subconsciously doing is we're manifesting moments to take away our happiness because we don't believe that we could actually have it and, or, or even deserve it, which is bullshit. Everybody deserves happiness. Everybody deserves goodness. Everybody deserves the good life, including you, Taurus. So don't sabotage yourself out of it, okay? It's not too good to be true. It is true. Enjoy this fucking month, all right? You also got here the Six of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like wondering when all of this... Um, stability and all of this resonance and this amazing alignment is going to set sail from your life. You know, the most important and dire message I can get to you guys is enjoy this month. Don't spend your time wondering when this situation is going to get stripped away from you or when the good life is suddenly going to disappear, when the next bad thing is going to happen. Because if you're waiting for the next bad thing to happen, you're essentially not even giving yourself the opportunity to enjoy all the great shit right in front of you. So don't wait for the next bad thing to happen. Enjoy this freaking month, man. Enjoy this wonderful alignment, you know, coming in tune with the life you've wanted to live, okay? So that's what I got for any important or dire messages. Um, so we saw what was coming in for you. Like I said, for this month, lots of happiness, brand new cycle. You're going to feel very, very empowered this month in regards to what it is you're doing. Everything feels like it's flowing perfectly. You found your home. It's that energy of like, I'm at home with the way everything is going. My life is in perfect alignment. That's awesome. That really is. Is there anything else coming in here for Taurus? Setting foot in their October. We got here the Five of Swords, we got here the Page of Wands, and we got here the Fool card. You may feel a little hesitant to let go of certain things, Taurus, in order to really enjoy this new experience. I think you are gonna be called to let go of a lot of things in order to enjoy this new alignment that you're reaching. What do I mean by this, Taurus? Well, if you're in a new relationship, you know, you may have to let go of your past a little bit with older people 
and the way that you've been treated in your past in order to enjoy this new relationship. For example, let's say you get into alignment with a brand new partner and there is this part of you that feels that your brand new partner may do something that other people and other partners of your past have done. Do not let your past merge with your present. Make sure every new person you meet, you're consistently giving them a clean slate. Because if you start bringing in the old things that your past partners have done and then instantly projecting it onto the new partner you meet, you may end up getting yourself caught in a cycle that was never going to happen in the first place. So don't add the past negativity, you know, into the new person. Make sure you're giving that a clean slate. Uh, same thing applies to when it comes towards your past as a whole. If anything bad has ever happened in your past or anything that has um, happened that you're worried about now, do not take the time to be worried about anything in October Taurus. Don't worry about things from your past repeating. Don't worry about, um, you know, situations that you've already gone through happening all over again. Like I said, if things are going well, just let yourself enjoy it, you know? Focus on releasing the past and being more present, being here and now, and happy with what's going on. Because the moment that you keep on focusing and wondering and worrying if certain repetitive things from your past are going to happen again in your present, you are basically pushing yourself away from enjoying what's right in front of you. Okay, uh, so that's what I got here for you, Taurus. Let go of your past. Don't let your past control your present. Don't think that your past is going to uh, inevitably repeat um, in what's going on right now. Just um, give what give your not only what it give not only what it is you got going on a clean slate, Taurus, but give yourself a clean slate as well. Okay, that's what I got for you. So. What's going to be going on at the last week for October here for Taurus? Let's take a look at the end of October. Let's see how Taurus is going to be standing. What's going to be Taurus's energy here for the last week of October? We got here the Three of Cups, a lot of enjoyment. We got here the Two of Swords, and we got here the Two of Cups. Guys, honestly, fantastic fucking month, man. Coming into the last week of October, Three of Cups, Two of Swords, Two of Cups. You're going to be in a really, really great place of enjoyment. You're going to be super happy with everything going on around you. Two of Cups, you feel really connected to your life right now. You feel in deep resonance with your life. Like I said, guys, whether you're in deep resonance right now with following your dream and your passion or a brand new partner or just, you know, maybe you've personally changed and you feel in deep resonance with you. It's just this energy of, man, everything feels right. Everything feels great. Everything feels like a green light. Like my life is exactly where it needs to be. So, Throughout this entire month, that's how you're going to be feeling, guys. Like, everything is just in perfect harmony and perfect resonance. What's going to be the outcome for Taurus, guys? What is the overall outcome for Taurus here? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. In October 2021, what do we have as the overall outcome? And we got here the Hermit, honestly. I think essentially what you needed, Taurus, was to isolate from the old life that you had and to go through that flow state for a little while to end up exactly where you needed to be, you know? The Hermit card here to the Hierophant. The Hierophant is your card, you know? You're in resonance right now with where you're supposed to be. You're finally in that place. Uh, so, Taurus, what's really fascinating is that I tell people this all the time. Um, if they feel lost in life or if they feel like they don't know where they should be going, they should just let themselves let go of where they need to be, detach and go with the flow. Meaning that you just live your life, you do your own thing, and you kind of let things align with you. And that's essentially what you did, Taurus. You were just living your life. You were like, I don't know where it's supposed to go. I'm just going to do my own thing. And then out of nowhere, the right thing fell on your lap. Everything fell into alignment with you out of nowhere because what you were seeking originally has seeked you. So if you feel lost and you feel like you can't find where your life is supposed to be, your life will find you. And uh, that's exactly what happened for you, Taurus. So I think you're pretty grateful that you took the time to go with the flow and to kind of let the universe do the work for you because now everything's paying off and with that Hierophant card jumping in over here you're in perfect alignment and you're in perfect commitment right now to where you're supposed to be uh, so I really like that for you Taurus everything did essentially end up working out for you all right beautiful freaking month ahead guys I'm really liking October for you man I'm liking it a lot um, I can't get over that that immediate energy of just like yo this whole month screams freaking resonance man like it just feels like where I am right now is exactly where I'm supposed to be everything is going right for me everything is correct it feels good it feels right this is just fantastic you know so I like it baby all right Taurus thank you guys so much for watching man really really uh, enjoyed this reading really really did thank you for coming in here really appreciate
appreciate it. Um, if this message resonates to you, let me know down in those comments down below. Have an awesome and amazing rest of your October, everyone, and I will catch you guys in your next video. Much love, Taurus, and have yourselves a good one. Peace.